everyone, thanks for watching. I thought I might do a video on my current skincare routine. It is for very dry skin, so I figured maybe I would share with you the products that I use to keep my dry skin in check. So first of all, I want to go with my makeup remover. It is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This stuff is like gold. It is so good and I don't find it dries out my skin at all which is really good and also it doesn't sting my eyes which a lot of makeup removers do. So there's that one first of all. Now the next one is also a holy grail of mine. This one most certainly is not easy to get. Uh, it is called, it's by a company called Follow Me. Basically what it is is an exfoliant. It comes from Japan so whether it is Japanese or just the company is, Jap is in Japan, I'm not sure, don't quote me on it, but my parents go to Singapore a lot and this comes from Singapore. My mum bought me back a whole bunch of them. They, I think they're about $10 each over there, which makes them really, really super cheap if you can get them here and I'm not sure if you can. I will have a look around and if you can, I will put a link down below, but it's this amazing gel and I will put a tiny bit on the back of my hand and we'll see if it'll work I don't know if the camera will pick it up but what you do is you rub it into your skin and within seconds it actually removes all the dead skin and I don't know if you can see it but what happens is it all sort of folds up and comes off and the first time I used this I was like no no way that's not that can't be true that's not how that works and I thought okay maybe the gel is just designed to do that so I wipe my face off because it's got to be done on dry skin I wipe my face off got that all dry again and then put more on and did it again didn't bowl that time so it really is your skin that's bowling up and it cleans out your pores really well. I did it on my fiance who works with machinery so he has really bad blackheads on his nose. I will put a picture of before and after one use of that in like really high definition um, on my blog so you can see the difference. I'm, I'm not lying about this product, it is amazing. And I'm pretty sure my mother actually uses it on her body as well to really exfoliate, but I don't want to waste it on my body, so I use it just on my face and neck. It's amazing! So, anyway, that's my exfoliator. I use that every couple of days. I find it doesn't work if you do it every day. But what I will say about it is it does lighten your skin. So, with mine, all it's sort of done is taken the pigmentation out of it. Uh, I get quite flushed cheeks and it has taken that away which is amazing I love that I hate my pink cheeks so I love this but if you're tan or you use fake tan or anything like that I probably wouldn't recommend that product because I think it will strip it off so moving on to cleansers now this this is gonna seem like a lot of products and it's really not I'm super lazy with my skin I do all this in the shower and I don't do it all every day. I have different products for different days. Generally of a morning I will use this guy and it is just a Garnier Dental Cleansing Milk for dry skin and it's so good. It's so moisturizing. Um, it's so weird. You put it on and wash it off and your skin feels moisturizer, moisturized. It feels like you've just put moisturizer on. So I love this, it's really really good, but also I take issue with my pores. I have quite large pores as I've gotten older, they've become more noticeable, I get the tiny little dark blackheads or light blackheads on my nose and on my chin. So for that I have started with this one, it is a Neutrogena Pore, Pore Refining, yeah, Pore Refining Daily Cleanser. I don't use this morning and night. I tend to use this one at night and then 
with both of those, I then follow with the pore refining toner, which is new to me. I haven't used a toner before, but I figured I'm really, really, really wanting to get at my pores. So I'm going to try the toner as well. I've been using these guys, the two Neutrogena guns, for a couple of weeks now, and my face feels clean, seems to look clean, so I guess it's kind of working. It's not not working, so I guess there's that. But I will stay with those ones as well. The alpha hydroxy acid in these can actually leave your skin more t prone to um, getting sunburnt. So if you are using these, you definitely, definitely have to use a sunscreen if you're going out in the sun. So just bear that in mind. So next, after all the washing and the scrubbing and the cleaning is done, um, for extra moisture in my skin, I have picked up this guy. He is just a mask. You put it on for 10 minutes and then wash it off. Seems to work great. When I get my psoriasis comes down on my forehead and through my eyebrows as well, which is amazing. Love that. Um, so I use this when my skin is really bad. I try to use it at least maybe once a week, once a fortnight. But if my skin's really bad, I'll be using it every couple of days to really sort of pump in some moisture. And then at night, <laughs> my moisturizer is this one, which is another one of the Garnier Dry Skin range. And it does say it's from dry to very dry skin. It's a very thick formula. It's kind of greasy, so I don't tend to wear it if I'm going out. If I'm leaving the house, this is not going to be on my face because it like leaves a sheen on your face and makes your face look really greasy and stuff. But it's really good. I'm loving this. It helps clear up my psoriasis as well, which, you know, it's not treating it, I know, or it's not curing it, I know, but it is treating the dry skin and helping out. And then if, oops, if I am going out anywhere or I don't want something so heavy, I just use a Nivea day cream. It's one I've had for ages and I just hadn't gotten around to using it because I had the other products and I forgot how much I love this. It's not greasy and it's, it's not super like super moisturizing like the Garnier one, but it's enough and it's good for my skin. So, <laughs> last couple of products that I have are for my lips. Recently, I have started making my own lip scrubs. This one that I've made, I have just put in an old Rimmel foundation pot that I scooped out the horrible stuff from. And as you can see, I nearly have to make more. Every day I use this in the shower. It stays in the shower with me. It is a really simple blend. It's granulated sugar, so just normal white sugar that you would put in your coffee or tea or cakes or whatever. Um, it is a little bit of honey and olive oil. And in this one, I've actually put in some cinnamon and vanilla extract for flavor. But it's really good. I use it every day in the shower and sometimes I will also follow up with like a little soft toothbrush as well to exfoliate my lips. But generally that's good enough. And when I get out I follow with either my trusty EOS ball, which I freaking love. And I wish they would start stocking in Australia because every time I have friends go overseas I have to get them to get me a whole bunch of these. Moisturising on my lips then I will use my trusty... Lucas Papaya, Papaya, yeah, Papaya, Lucas Porporium ointment. Um, so I don't know if they have these in other countries. I'm sure there would be some sort of interesting something similar. Um, but this one's actually made where I live in Brisbane, so yay. Uh, that's local. Cool. But that's it. That's my skincare. And like I said, it seems like a lot. It's I know I've been rambling on in this video, but things really are, you know, sometimes for morning, sometimes for night. 
maybe every couple of days, maybe every couple of weeks. So it's a lot of products, um, but it's not a lot of time. So yeah, I just thought I would share that. Maybe it can help anyone else who's coming into the cooler months or who has dry skin. Give it a shot. Uh, if you use any of these products and you like them, give me a shout out. Let me know what you think. If you have products that you think are your holy grail for dry skin, please share with me. I would love to hear from you. So thanks for listening to me ramble on and don't forget to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Bye.